All right, welcome to Teacher Te Teachers Teaching Teachers. Andrew Zellner is about to tell us what we're going to do tonight. Okay, right. so I had this half baked idea that we like one of the big problems of AI is, is around accessibility. So I wanted to think about universal design for learning. And last night I was talking to a bunch of English teachers at, um, at a one hour like on around AI and, and teaching ELA. Okay. And for me, the, what I always tell folks is that the more meaningful and purposeful the work is that we give kids, the more meaningful and purposeful AI is in that conversation and also protective against cheating. Um, because if I have um, investment in what I'm doing, I'm going to be less likely to take a shortcut. So that's uh, part of UDL in the first brain network of engagement, they talk about giving rationales for like, why should I learn this? And I thought, what if we had, I was kind of picturing like, okay, so I've been assigned this essay and I've written it, but I want to know why it's important. Like what skills am I gaining through this writing? So I was thinking about like a rationale thinking partner, writing partner to pull out skills. Does that make sense? I don't know if it'll work though. We don't, we don't know yet. Let's try. Yeah. Um, so if any, yeah, Bob Montgomery is on my. It hey, makes hey, sense. What, I just wanted to. Good, good. Thank you. That. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Um, so Bob is saying like when he comes here, he, he just wants to build things. Um, so if you want to do that, feel free to go do that and come back and we'll talk. Um, hi, Chris Sloan. Hello, Hi, Chris. We're, Andrea. Do you want to try to share your screen? And we'll okay, hold on. I gotta to log in. I got. I gotta do all my logging uh, in. I don't. A guest can share too, but go ahead. Yeah. Um, no, I just met into writing partners. Oh, oh yeah. So, Chris, talk right. to us about what you've been doing. Well, she's getting. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So people are um, coming. It's just uh, you know, it's like summer. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Hello. Yeah. Howdy. Uh, yeah. So what I was doing was, um, <clears throat> you know, in argumentation, I had uh, been talking to my students about making concessions, which is this unusual or argumentative move that people do. They used to do in the old days before they just shouted at people that they were stupid. <laughs> but you would actually make a concession to the other side and then, you know, counter it and that kind of stuff. So I uh, am doing a prompt about what's called concession mentor um, with their argumentative writing to help them uh, maybe see places where they could improve their argumentative writing using concessive clauses. So talk about dependent clauses and all that fun stuff. Bunny, it looks just, like you, you've come with a few students, is that correct? Just, I just came with two of my students tonight. Um, that's it. Cool, cool. Um, so, Andrea, are you ready to share? Or mm -hmm. so, Chris, maybe we'll come back around to you. We were sure. talking to Andrea about her stuff okay. first year, and then we'll come to you. I mean, um, we don't have to. Always willing to listen. To no, let's do that. Sh share your screen and. It's uh, just I'm taking a minute, working. I think. There it goes. Yeah, okay. it's coming. It's coming. All right, here I go. So I would start here, right, with the new writing partner? Hold on, I'm looking. Yes, you would. Okay. All right. And so there, there are a couple of there are a couple of things that are new. They just came in last week, so okay. you can help us think about them. Okay, you're going to start new, right? That's what I started. Here it is. And by the way, um, if you don't know this, you can, um, there's a little magnifying glass. This is not, mm -hmm. I'm, say, I'm saying this to everybody but Andrea, where you can enlarge this, um, what's on the screen a little bit. All right. Um, okay. So, so let's give it a temporary name. Uh, so I'm going to say a rationale maker. Okay. Oh, mm. that's not it. That's not how you spell maker. Okay. And so this is uh, 
a UDL engagement giving students rationales for you learning. See, do you see the sentence starters there? See if you could use those sentence oh. starters. Okay. This right. Oh, I got it. Okay. This writing partner helps students. Oh, how about I'll say this helps a writer see why the process of creating the piece of writing is important for them for their development. I don't know. Okay. We'll play with that. That's fine. All right. Okay. Now on on the top there. Ready? The there are four things to think about. Do you see them there? Persona, purpose, process, and product. Yes. Yes. So okay. Um Addressing some people's confusion about why is this called a prompt and prompts are used in different ways in different. Anyway, so we're, we're trying to be a little more specific and clear about that. And if you click on that, it'll go to a blank page, but eventually it'll go to a page, you know, <laughs> don't. It, eventually this page will, um, sh will explain what we mean by these four things. Oh, it's but blank I'm, right now. Okay. That's what you were Say. I was like, what? That is what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got. Have, I'm with you now. You have me. We have me. You have me to talk into your ear right now. So That's the right. persona. Who is? Who is this uh, writing partner? This writing partner is a. Actually, actually, talk to. The, wait, wait! Don't do it third person. Do it. Talk to the writing partner. Oh, so got it. Okay. A, you mm. are a wise teacher who can <laughs> explain to writers why it is important to do to write some what should i say to write period <laughs> i'm stuck <laughs> we're, we're writing this together folks so speak up <laughs> help her say it again Wait a minute, because it's so small. I know it's I, so small. The, way up I'm in the top on corner. My, um, way up in the top corner, there's yeah. there's a there's a um, magnifying glass. If you click on that, you can then mm -hmm. increase the percent and move it around, and you can see it better. So, is the um, potential audience? Are you seeing that as someone who needs confidence? Yeah. So I was thinking about you know, like in universal design for learning, we talk about activating like the why of learning. Mm -hmm. The teachers we were talking to tonight were was like, oh, why this piece of writing might be important for a student to engage with. So I thought, what if AI? Right. So, so this writing partner provides three uh, three thoughts of inquiry for the writer, like something about questions uh, and offering more than one question. Andrea, do you mind just describing that? And then we can change it around as we okay. go. Okay, so that, I, I, I think you might, just to say, you, so Bonnie's jumped into purpose, like what is it mm -hmm. gonna do? Oh, I was supposed to stay on. No, that's cool, that's cool. No, that's We're gonna okay. jump back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Why it, it is it important should. to write and three. And or you can make it a whole a new sentence. Yeah, go, go to a new paragraph on the three questions. Oh, okay, so why is it important to write a particular or to write, write this? The, yeah, this mm -hmm. piece. I mean, okay. You can even say my piece. Oh, you know, my piece. Okay. Yes, right. My piece. And then say that again about the questions. I'm ready. Provide three questions or three points of inquiry. To what would it be about? Anybody? My thinking. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Yes. To or, or okay to um or expand. What about or expansion? how about yeah expand my understanding of why uh -huh. writing is important. Yes. Are it is it something about why the teacher may ask me to write this? Yeah. Mm. And mm. why mm. my teacher may you use the word speculate speculate what, on why the teacher or what, okay. what the teacher what, is thinking. What is the reason for this? Why the teacher right? um invited this writing. All right, David's here. Welcome. <laughs> nice to be here. I don't know what you happened. You made it, David. We were so worried about you. You were trapped. Well, I, was like, I was like, gosh, what's going on here? But anyway, I don't want to interrupt. Carry on. It's great All to right. see you. We're, we're coaching, we're coaching um, Andrea through a creating a writing partner Excellent. and kind of yeah. learning together how to do it. As we yes. Do it. Mm -hmm. So was that purpose and process or how does process differ? I don't know. I mean, you know, these things overlap, but process could be like how they would do that. Like, do they, uh, do they quote from the text? Do they give mm. examples? Do they, you know, and then product would be sort of like, is, is the, what the outcome looks like? Is it bullet points? Is it? Okay. So that's the idea behind those P's. <laughs> Give examples from the text that illustrate why, oh, how this writing will be beneficial in the future. And then product should be like bullet points. I don't know. I always want to say what, please. What do you think? You can say please. I think please it's nice list to say please. And there, is a, there is a dispute in the research literature about whether it matters or not. Yeah, Paul uh, told me to say it. And how about some of, the, some of the people are saying if you say please and thank you, it gives you so much more than if you don't use please and thank you. I said but please and thank you. I started you. using please and thank you. Uh, but I try to say thanks and, and not give and, it a pronoun. And my argument is it changes you. Yeah. It changes your frame of mind. <laughs> it makes yeah, you think that a you're a full type person. Frame of mind. <laughs> I'm already very courteous. I don't need I'm to be courteous to a machine. <laughs> or I don't think I should. I understand. All right. So then are we happy with what I've done here? Okay. Did you see Ethan Mollick's uh, suggestion that... Um, or question, there's a question in the literature also that around holidays, um, AI produces less than it does during during other times because it thinks it's on holidays and it doesn't have to work as hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an actual real real theory. That people yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, when, 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 the, when, the, when college spring break happened, the performance of the AI dropped from Ethan Mollick's perspective. And he attributes it to it like the AI was not as busy or something happened, kind of connected to humans having vacation in Daytona Beach or wherever they go. I don't know. <laughs> that is wild. Okay, someone needs a summit paper. <laughs> I don't know if it's a paper. I'll send it to you. I, you know, it I think it was in that talk you put, Paul, you mentioned it. It was a, he, he mentioned it in that Ezra Klein interview, I think. Ezra in Klein's interview, yeah. Which yeah. is a oh, oh, really, oh. really wonderful interview, right? Um, Okay. All right, so are you done, do you think? Oh, or what do you I, think? I think we need to talk about theories. Are there any theories oh. connected to? Mm -hmm. Are there any why theories the connected to your examples or whatever we asked it to do? Are there any? I think I might say, name any theories connected to the writing pedagogy. Boom. I don't know, that feels too teachery. Boom. That's oh, you want to say okay? We are teachers, though, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, but we don't. Oh, we yeah, we're teacher. thinking about and uh, maybe say and put this in a language that a teenager could understand or. Oh, whatever. boom! Yes. And and written in 
student, I'll just say student friendly language. But okay. what level student? So you have to tell uh, it what level of student. Okay. I'm going to say, say like an honor. I'll say like fifth student. grade, grade student friendly language. Fifth grade feels okay. like right in the middle. I'm going to do That's it. So cool. I want to I want to return to the persona a bit. Um, okay. Is is this teacher um, well schooled in UDL? Oh, you don't know. Sure. Understanding basic UBD. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I say the wrong thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you said UDL. No, we're talking I about UDL, that. Universal oh. Design for Learning. So this, in oh, the sorry. Universal Design for Learning framework, part of the way that you engage students is based on giving them rationales. Mm -hmm. uh, for why what they're doing is important for them. So I want own. you to put that all in the persona too. Okay, okay. I think a wise teacher like who understands uh, that to engage students, they need, oh, I don't need comma there. They need to understand why they are writing what they are writing and how it contributes to their growth as a writer. Can I ask so, a question about that, Andrea, at this, yeah. right at this moment? That's a very awesome statement and ambition and objective. When you're <laughs> talking in a small group or with an individual student with that goal in mind, how many, think of it as a dialogue, are you able to impart that perspective in a statement or a comment or just a or yeah, does, so it, might does, it say, take a conversation? does it take a conversation? I'm curious about how much what the bot has to know to do something as effectively or approximate the effectiveness you you have when you're a, when you're facilitating and working with a student. I'm curious. Yeah, sometimes you have kids give the rationale like, um, yeah, right. This is this is why this engaging in this persuasive writing and what were you saying, Chris? Uh, acknowledging whatever uh, you were doing. I was back on the student friendly language, but um, earlier, I mean. Yeah, you were, your kids are acknowledging the counter argument or acknowledging. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That there are other perspectives. That there are other perspectives. Okay, so for instance, Chris's students might say, it was really important for me to practice acknowledging the other perspectives because it made my essay stronger and it made me a stronger writer or something. It could be something as simple as that. Or sure. I ended up using this on my parents so that I could get more time on my cell phone or something. <laughs> right. So, so picking up what David was saying about um, how much the counts, how much the coach says and how much they draw it out of the student, the ending might ask this ask the <laughs> the ending might say something like um ask me to say how much i agree or disagree with this at the end oh. uh, does this make sense you know? so um, inviting so inviting yeah. ask me whether or not i agree with the rationale you provided now here's it's good that we've got all this detail here i just as a process point i just want to say sometimes and it's something i said a few couple few weeks ago but an ill-formed prompt and then go test it allows you to see what changes like if you add then if you add something you can see what changes when you have everything perfect in your mind it's sometimes hard to see what if you take if you take something out what would change right mm -hmm. but i just so i just want to encourage as you're making these to test them when they're not quite as detailed as this too it's a, a good thing to do actually so paul is it in our best yeah. interest then to copy and paste what we have pull it out of there for a minute until we we're sa totally satisfied with it whatever your process is yeah i guess so um, yeah, but I mean, you can you can go with something this detailed and then start taking sentences out and see what happens. You know, there, you know, it can go either way. All right, Andrew, you need when you're ready, you need to choose a category. 
All right. And these are the these are the Moloch and Moloch categories plus categories for kids. <laughs> so it's it, so it seems like it's kind of a mentor or maybe. Oh, it didn't pop up. Yeah. I think mentor or coach. Or what coach. do you think? think Make it, it a mentor. You want a mentor? Okay. Yeah. Why not? Okay. And oh, I actually, actually, wait. What a, is, is it teaching anything? Is it coach? Make it. A I coach. feel like coach might mm -hmm. be better because it's literally okay. about metacognition is what we're talking about here anyway. So that okay. feels like right to me. And then I don't that have. That was very real. I only have, what we just did. I, I, what do you have? I only have MCTE. Yeah, this. Is good. As, so um, do I have to do anything else? Uh, no, I I will go in and change that. I'll I'll make it public for now. So go okay. go to create, and then okay. do you have a piece of writing that we could play with, or do you want me to find? I it? might need one. Or Chris I hadn't thought this. Offer one. I have not thought this through. <laughs> what did you call it again? Uh, I called a rationale maker. Oh, did you did you post it yet? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yes, it's right here, right here, right here. It's there. It says edit, edit, duplicate, destroy. Which is very exciting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna so make I this public. Like I'm also gonna. So every, it'll it'll show up for every. It'll show up for everybody now. Okay. Now. You're gonna keep. You're gonna keep driving. If you're gonna keep driving, you need to get to. <laughs> You need to get to where there are documents. Um, okay. Well, I stopped driving. Or I so can I can share one. For, oh, you yeah, did? Yeah, okay, yeah. so I can I can do it then. Okay. Yes, you should drive now. Okay, got it. Chris, can I use one of your students? Uh, yeah, one of the open letters from today. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let me see. Uh, last name there briefly, but we won't see it when it opens. Does it matter which one do you think? No, I, I think any of them are fine. Okay. Okay, let's try that one. Yes. Ready so we on. are. Oh, but I'm not sharing screen. Not <laughs> so, yet. Oh, I know. I didn't even try it. Okay, present screen. Start. Okay. Do we see an open letter? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. So I am going to um, the general comments, and I'm going to AI, and I'm going here, and you made it a coach. By the way, most people don't see this many, but here's the rationale maker. There it is. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, why... <laughs> Why do I have to write this? Yes, it's okay? exactly right. That's what we're trying to answer. <laughs> and who am I? Uh, a fifth grader. Your... <laughs> well, a uh, who is the writer? The writer is a, actually a 12th grade, but a high school student. Oh, oh I know. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, we can't make it a fifth grader with that. Uh. Okay. I mean, I'm okay with I'm, it being uh, a fifth grade explainer, even for a high schooler. That doesn't bother me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah. That. But, but okay. So I'm gonna hit continue. Um. And we come up with this. Somebody want to read so it's uh, more interesting. <laughs> or should should I post this one? Yeah, let's post it. Uh, gonna, I could read it. I'm going to post it. It'll be easier. Okay. All right. Then. There you go, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Uh, oh, got it. Okay. So I'll read that. Yep. So uh, like in a lot of places, by the way, a little background, Utah, the legislators were trying to push a bill that would make it easier to remove things from the bookshelves of school libraries. So, <laughs> uh, so. Uh, dear high school student, here are three points to help you understand why this type of writing is important and why your teacher might have asked you to engage in it. Number one, understanding different perspectives. 
Why is it important to consider different viewpoints on controversial topics like book bans? How does exploring contrasting opinions help you become a more open-minded and critical thinker? Mm. Theory, engaging in writing that discusses diverse perspectives helps develop empathy and critical thinking skills. This is exactly what I wanted it to do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you want me to stop after number one or? No, I got going. excited, I, I like Chris. That. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't want to cut off your excitement. Uh, advocacy and communication skills. How does writing letters or essays to express your opinions help you become a more effective advocate for causes you believe in? In what ways can practicing persuasive writing improve your ability to communicate ideas clearly and convincingly? Theory. Advocating for a cause through writing strengthens communication skills and fosters confidence in expressing one's belief. Mm. And then three, promoting freedom of expression. Why is it crucial to defend intellectual freedom and access to information, even when faced with differing opinions? How can writing about censorship and inclusivity in literature contribute to a society that values diverse voices and ideas? Theory. Writing about freedom of expression encourages critical reflection on societal values and the importance of upholding democratic principles. Do you agree that engaging in this type of writing can help you develop important skills and understandings that will benefit you in the future? Best regards, your wise teacher. That came out really well. So, why, Andrea, why, why was why ahead. did it come out really well? I mean, what 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 did we do that was so good? <laughs> you fed it the right information. I know it, but it could have said like it'll help you because I'll give you a good grade. You'll get a good grade because it and it goes with the standards. Like it could have. Exactly. Why would it have done that though? We told it. We told it what to do. What to do? Yeah, we told mm -hmm. it. Wait, let me see the prompt again. Let's look at the prompt. <laughs> best regards your wife teacher i love the best regards so much thus the reason why our students <laughs> can't come out with good things from ai because they don't know how to feed it so this goes right. back to what my mom has always told me you are what you eat what you're so AI, <laughs> <laughs> ai is but i want to see the spe you know, why going back to, yeah. what was it called again uh, rationale a rationale maker, maker oh, but you. i think honestly paul it could be why should i why do i have to write this like honestly that's probably what it should be called <laughs> or, what, or, mm, or why write why write um, this yeah i don't know I like rationale maker. Okay, I'm gonna leave it rationale maker for now. Okay, thank you. Uh, Andrea, it's yours. It's yours because I wanted to go public because I'm getting ready to tell my students to use it tomorrow. Oh Why? my gosh! <laughs> you yeah. Oh yeah, they need this. Okay, wait. Okay, I so Debbie, you wanted to go back to this. Yeah. So, so just, uh, what I what I would loved was that we asked it not to tell, but to ask questions. Mm -hmm. That was brilliant. And Provide what, what else I love was, was the idea. theory. Yeah, the go ahead. theory um, then was that, you know, this is what we know about this kind of writing. And so, so that double whammy of combining the questions with a theory, yeah well really it, 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 it had the right yeah. tone yeah uh -huh. i added a little thing right before i hit create which was to expand my understanding of why this type or genre of writing is important so i did add that part too but i didn't say it with my out loud voice i just threw it in there as the last hurrah yeah did it give examples from the list from the text that illustrate the writing? No. Wasn't the topic book banned? Like... Yes. It oh, so it did. It, gave it did. It pulled from the text. From the text. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It picked it up that it was argumentative. From, yeah. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. It picked up that it was on banned books. So... Let's ask a hard question about what <laughs> what would a kid do with this response, and what and how could we coach them to do what we want them to do with it? 
How do I say that? Yeah, that you're. Be, in other words, they're being spoken to, but they aren't being asked to choose which of these they. Uh, I was thinking uh, the results were um, an enormous number of. Uh, yeah, it's a results? lot to take in, right? Yeah. Right. So. But I like that, Debbie, because it was in bullet points. Andrea right, 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 right. But I mean, you would want points. the kid to make some choice from it, mm -hmm. right? I almost You'd want wonder to if the right question to ask at the end is not whether you agree. But yes. of these questions that I've asked you, uh -huh. which would you like to reflect on? Exactly. The so you're going to go back and change that? Chris, who was the yes. student again? Sorry. Um, Alejandra. Uh, uh, okay. It was on book bands, and it was today. So it's first or second page. OK. Why can't I find it again? OK. You have to use Control F. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, huh. I think it's probably work. on the second page. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I, I I know what I need. Sorry. You don't need to watch me do this though. Okay, but you are watching. Okay. No. Nope. Here, I could have been a bigger help here. It's okay. Uh, I'll find it again eventually. I have too many tabs, obviously. It is, um, do you want the URL? It's user number 174, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he is. You passed it by. Thank you. you. Passed it. Uh, Emma? Cool. Alejandra. Alejandra. There it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can look at your concessions uh, thing too as well. Okay, so so let me go back to the question. So if if we did what you said, and we could test it again, did you did you save it? Do you want to see what happens or that? Uh, you want me to so, edit it? So here's a, but I just want to say from like real politic here, right? Um, students get a, get a response like this. They, they look at it and say, oh, my God, maybe you could slow them down and have them read it, have them re go back to it the next day. I don't know. But they, they are not conditioned to doing anything with a comment next to their writing. Right? That's right. Mm. Um, so how do, we, how do we engage students with that? Right? Do, do, and that's a real honest question. I, I got a question in relation to that, Paul. And, mm -hmm. um, to the extent this, you know, we've all seen or been on adaptive learning systems that ping you and it's usually a yes, no hint, yes, no hint, correct answer, great job, next one. And so there's a there's sort of a serial sequence that the the, the bot takes you through. But um, to your point, Paul, and I've often had this feeling like the insights that you experts put into these prompts and the fluency that comes out of it is astounding. And then it's it's sort of like a whole cloth piece. And I'm wondering about how does it get paced out so that that issue you're raising, Paul, is something that can be worked out. And Chris, I want to spin this back to you. Your, your prompts are really thorough and um, complex, and you're getting good result. Are students sort of going to that prompt with sort of fleshed out text, and they're able to uh, sort of encounter the response differently? or have people broken their prompts into sections, almost like activities, you know, Tuesday through Thursday, we do this next third Tuesday through Thursday, we do that. And it's a different prompt for each one leading to something that's comprehensive. I'm curious about this issue that students get this big response and like, oh, ugh, how do you how do you let them iterate and move through it? Um, is that re a realistic thing to expect or work towards? It's a lot there. <laughs> are you, David, are you saying, for example, mm -hmm. that the um, AI could have done the first one and said, uh, you know, the, number one, and said, after the first one, paused and said, does this appeal to you? And if so, why? 
in terms of your writing or something like that so that the kid is interacting three times yeah through yeah, the and, and, and we can we can build them that way um the the downside of it is that they the student then needs to learn how that they can <laughs> that they can actually have that dialogue right so does, does, yeah, that so dialogue, anyway. does that dialogue address the problem you raise, which is if they are going to then engage, they are breaking their? I don't know. I I don't know if it's a problem. I right. so Chris, are are you there, Chris Law? Yeah, he's here. Chris? Yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I want to say I want to say what David said uh, in a different way. That I I when I read your your concession prompt and see what. It comes up with and you worked really hard to get it to say what you wanted it to do mm -hmm. i can see i can see your pedagogy behind it mm -hmm. right right um and it's deep and, and really thoughtful about you know this is maybe this is a different way to make an argument and you know, you know i'm totally fascinated by that but <laughs> but do they get it and I, well yeah i think there is something that um it that we have to realize is that they this feedback is really late in the process so they're feeling pretty good about it at this point just you know motivation wise right they're seniors with less than two weeks of school left um so i was asking them for just some feedback on the feedback really today and so um she didn't that was yesterday's class no wait, maybe it was today. So yeah, anyway, and, and some students asked for more information, and that was useful. I thought. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's one thing. Is it's if it were early in the process uh, when they do the human, you know, peer feedback from each other, and and then had I done it a little bit earlier there, I think it would have been different. But right now, you know, it was like feedback on something that they are thinking is done. Mm -hmm. But it was good feedback. Your concession um, prompt, do, mm -hmm. have we looked at that? We haven't. Um, you can go to where it says make writing partners and find it there. And okay. if you go to duplicate, you can see it. Yeah, I am um, going to um, change it even more, though, because I had it really narrowly focused. I was talking about sophistication at sentence level. And I think really, if you're talking about concession, it's more like what we were talking about with Andrea is about, you know, tell me about other perspectives that I haven't thought of. And by the way, you know, give me some advice on how to do this in one sentence. So right now it's pretty narrowly restricted to like writing one concessive sentence, you know, whereas I think it could also help with just like concession in general, just like what are the other perspectives I could incorporate into this thing. I want to, uh, if I could, um, and I'm watching time here. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we worked on a possibility of creating a critical friend or whatever you call it, uh, uh, an imagined audience, right? And and I did some work around it. I just want to, I, without, I, I don't want to show you what it does. Um, here's what I decided to do, though. I told I told the writing partner that it was an improv actor, and, and that it's really good at pers uh, taking taking traits and turning them into characters, and then being that character, <laughs> right? So that mm. that's uh, so. <laughs> okay, so. I have an imagined audience simulator, right? So let me just, I wasn't going to read the prompt so much, but um, let me try to find a sentence here. Okay. So, so here's a, so you are an expert improv actor who can imagine and embody a detailed, complete character. You will impersonate everything about this character from body posture, ways of talking, and more. You're famous for your ability to jump into a character and act like this character, right? But then it says, hide any information about that. So what, what happens is, and I'm using the same letter 
Benny. So let's mm -hmm. say, um, what do you think about my open letter? So what it does, but I incorporated, well, it's, I, too, it's too much to explain to you. But so let's say um, I be, be a book banner mm. who thinks mm -hmm. we need to clean up the libraries. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. I don't know if it'll work. So... Taking so your why advice. Why did you give us so much information, now, Paul? You gave it a lot of information in order to build this this partner. What what was your reason? Because it's a pretty complicated thing we're asking it to do. We're asking it, right? So let's see what it comes up with. I I don't know. I just went back and forth and right. Okay. So we have oh my dear, <laughs> um, it seems that that you have penned a, a missive that carries the weight of impassioned pleas. From the pers what? This is intense. Very. This is. Okay. From my perspective, as a book banner who values the cleanliness and purity of library <laughs> collections, I must express my stark disagreement with your stance. So, by the way, in the prompt, or I, I tell it to be stubborn. Don't try to agree <laughs> and um be and stay with your point of view all the way to the end so your letter reflects a deep-seated then though i jump in and say okay please note okay. this was designed to give you some money mm -hmm. this was designed to ha show you how somebody might react to your text it's up to you now to decide what to do and here are three questions you might consider as you rewrite before, Again, following your advice on all that. But go ahead. But I yeah, think jump in. Um, the persona, at some point, if students were to use something like this, we would have to um, deal with the language of a teenager. Um, because well, what, what it jumped out saying, you know, I'm like, okay, where's my dictionary? Yeah, but that's who, yeah. Fair enough. I. So, you know, I, I think it depends on who the character is, though, that you're inventing. Mm. Like a teenager might not be a book banner, right? No, I'm talking yeah. about, you know, how it when after you choose, after you put your question in and then uh -huh. you say, who, who are you? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Is it about you or? You know, when you when you click on something and then you go use you choose which writing partner and then you put the question in what you're right. trying to find the out. box below the box right. below in this case is is a list of traits about the your imagined audience oh which is kind of different mm. well it could I mean, be a high school classroom a high school a civics classroom or, you know, because of banned books when you're talking about banned sure. books. But so, but here's the thing, as the writer, I want somebody, I, I want to test my writing with somebody else, right? So I'm, I'm hmm. writing a thing, <laughs> I'm writing a thing for Debbie. Um, I'm writing, I'm doing some writing about this whole process and, and I keep asking for a teacher who's totally overwhelmed, doesn't want to deal with AI, um, mm. you know, isn't 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 involved with technology, and I keep getting responses from that person to my mm. text to, to, to kind of think about what <laughs> what I could what I could think about. Okay. So, so, so it's a whole sort of one of it's the things. It's a method. I, it's a method to the madness. That's, mm -hmm. I think so. There is. All right, we should um, stop. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Thank you for getting me in here. Thanks, everybody. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and if other people jumped already, that's great. Um, I want to make a plug for that Moloch and Moloch article I threw in the chat. It's very, very um, comprehensive. 
if you want to get a dose of Malik and Malik. So you put it in the chat. So. Yeah, it's um, it's remarkable. It, you know, he's they've done a bunch of sort of very practice based for educators. This one goes even deeper on some of the techniques, much the way you do, Paul, in these sessions. It's it's a different version, but I was uh, I haven't gotten through it yet. It's, it's there's a lot to it if you have the patience for it or interest. Make a plug for that. Thank you. Yeah, Thank of course. You. And he has a book out too. So yeah, that's right. It must have been pulled from that. I mean, it's an expensive, yeah. expensive piece Paul, of research. Paul, have you reached out to him? I, I have, but they were too busy to talk to me. So yeah, I mean, the president's reaching out to him. I think so. Literally, <laughs> I'm not making that up. Yeah, no. So, but... so yeah, we sh we should again though. I agree. Um, and, and if you go to the making making a writing partner, I did put the links to the article from about a year ago that gave us the idea for the seven categories. And yeah. if you click on any of those links, that takes you to an article as well. Yeah. Um, well, the only thing I'm thinking about is the digital discourse work is based at Penn. So just mm -hmm. yeah. build off that connection, if we can, while we have that grant. Sure. I don't know if it'll get their attention or if they'll respond, but that's just. So maybe I could do it with Amy and, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. ask her. I'll ask her what she thinks. Yeah. Okay. We could set up something else too yeah, and do it with them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Great. Um all right. Thank you, everybody. All Thank right. You. Keep talking. Thank, Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Night night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. What a lovely, intense meeting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got that on the recording. That's good. <laughs>